G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, today I'm going to do a bit of melting, aluminium melting. And in that bucket down there is some aluminium that I got off the side of the road. It was a baby stroller. One of those, I think it's Britax brand, I'm not sure. But it's interesting aluminium because it's, uh, I think it all might be high tensile. Um because it's not very thick walled but you know, it's hard to compress hard to crush and it's fairly weighty for the for the gauge so I'm going to melt it down and hope it comes up okay it, you know I think it's high tensile I mean there's that many different grades that there's hundreds and hundreds of grades of aluminium the same as there's hundreds of grades of steel and brass, a lot of metals, and they're different, different grades for different purposes, different usages. You know, I mean, it's all a cost factor. Why use high tensile when you can get away with crappy stuff? You know, just for casting some lumo deck or something like that. So yeah, whatever you're melting, be aware that. Not all aluminium is the same, not even remotely the same quite often. So, you know, aluminium they would use for, say, a lawnmower deck uh, will be soft and not very good machine-wise, whereas something like this could actually be good, even though it hasn't actually been machined, but the actual function that's been used for, which is high load, thin wall, it should be pretty good stuff. There's quite a bit there. I think it's, you know, a little couple of kilo. So, yeah, it was worth picking it up off the side of the road, strip it down, you know, just throw out what you don't want to use and keep the good stuff. All right, moving on. I haven't done any melting for a while, or smelting, or whatever I call it. But I did a modification yesterday on the one of the two crucibles that I've got, which I made up out of scrap, um, <laughs> once again, and I'm just coming close to show what I did. Just I wanted it to sit lower in the uh, in the furnace, and the handle, this handle bit here, was welded onto there. It was all one bit, so I cut that off because you see it, it was stopping the, the pot from going down deep enough but as deep as I would like in a furnace so I, I cut it off moved it up and well re-welded it and then just welded a bit of bracing in here a bit of scrap stuff but once again if you've got a stick welder you can do all this stuff and it's, it doesn't have to be pretty I mean the welding's alright it's only made it a junk but I mean you, uh, yeah, yeah, you learn to weld, it's not hard. In fact, it's quite easy, really. It's like riding a push bike. Once you do know how to do it, well, it's easy to just come back on, up to speed on it. You can see this has been used for melting aluminium before, and even the crucible's just made up out of, I don't know what that one's made out of, up out of, but it's... Uh, it's all just uh, welded together. All right, I'll get on with it. I uh, I was going to use the wood furnace to uh, to do this, but we had some rain the other night and all the wood piles are all wet, so I'll have to use the uh, the XLPG cylinder furnace with the gas torch in it. Righty on, let's do it.
aluminium melting aluminium make sure that the breeze is blowing away from you because the aluminium gives off toxic fumes you should always do it outside or have an extractor fan and whatever it's coated with it could be coated with some sort of plastic or polymer but it can smoke because aluminium normally wouldn't smoke so that smoke that you saw is obviously some sort of coating so yeah make sure you don't breathe any of that stuff in it won't be any good for you god the worst thing happened it started raining they forecast 40 percent chance of rain and <laughs> Wouldn't it? Anyway, we're battling on. I've poured a couple of them, I'll show you. Casting in the rain is, well, drizzle is not a good thing. But anyway, there's a couple I've done, so I'm just cleaning up some dregs as well while I'm at it, so I'll do one more similar, get rid of them. Get rid of the dregs. Alright, well, there's the 
proceeds. Hmm. So yeah, it's quite a bit of weight there. That was all from that scrap baby's wheeler thing we got off the side of the road, which was well and truly buggered. The wheels are all shagged and uh, yeah. So if you want to get free aluminium for your metal lathe for your mill, you can cast it any diameter you want, any shape you want. And uh, yeah, even the leftover bits just I just got a uh, a scone tray from the Salvation Army for two dollars, and I just pour the leftover bits in there, and then you just melt it down next time. So yeah, great money saver, huge money saver. If you went and bought that from a shop, <laughs> yeah, right, eh? Be bloody expensive. Okay, that's it for me. See you next time. Cheers.